What's up? It's your girl, Courage Molina, Chief Courage Crusader, um, and your favorite Bible teacher. So I want to share with you um, this Bible color coding system that I use. Now listen, for most of you, I'm sure that you highlight in your Bible or you underline in your Bible, and you may even already write in your Bible. So did I. Um, anytime I'm reading or studying the word, if something speaks to me, or I shouldn't say if, but when um, something speaks to me, then I can go through and kind of highlight it. So this this Bible, it is the um, Keyword Study Bible in KJV. It is the first Bible that I really used to study. Like I was serious about studying when I bought this Bible a few years ago. Um, and so you can see that I have things highlighted, right? They're all highlighted. There's some underlining. There's some writing in um, the margin. And honestly, I just, you know, use whatever color highlighter I had. So here's some pink, there's yellow. I'm writing some stuff on the side. And the reason I highlighted my Bible is because there's a verse or there's something that speaks to me and I want to remember it. I want to mark it in my Bible so I can go back to it. I write down in the margin um, a thought that I had or some revelation that I got and so I can write that down. Right? Because I want to engage and interact with the word. I want to remember that God has spoken to me through his word. Because there comes a time when we close our Bible and things start to get crazy for us. I mean, we're praying about things, whether it's a decision about moving or what you should do in business or what you should do with your kids or work or whatever. And you're praying and it feels like God is silent. He's not. But it feels like, dang, can a sister get an answer or not, right? And in those moments, I can just open my word up. And it's not to say that, you know, every time I open it up to a, a section where I've done some highlighting, that it speaks directly to my situation. But it's a reminder that God does indeed speak, that he has not left me, he's not forsaken me. It is a reminder. So when I can go to this word and flip through um, and see something that's got some highlighting, it is it's super helpful to remember that God speaks to me. But do you know what the problem is with just highlighting and underlining without a color coding system? It makes it very difficult to differentiate between the passages. Right, like I said, I just used what I had available. Uh, my favorite highlighter color is yellow, actually. Just a um, little bit of information about me. My favorite highlighting color is yellow. And as I flip through this, there is no way to, really there's no distinction between what's highlighted in yellow on this page and what's highlighted in yellow say on another page. There's no way for me to reference back to it. There's no system for me to get back to. But when you use color coding, so I showed you guys um, in one of the other videos, my Bible study pens. I have them all right here. Each pen represents a color from my color coding system which should tell you how many colors I have, right, for underlining the Bible. And so here it is, I'll show it to you here. And what I did, it's not fancy. It's this, it don't have to be fancy, y'all, okay? I have a um, index card. My friend Olivia actually wrote this because she feels like my handwriting is sloppy, but I was fine with it. She was like, just let me write it. <laughs> And so she rewrote what I had written down on an index card, but it's just an index card that I have uh, taped. So this is my latest Bible, um, which means this is the one that I just received for Christmas. My husband got it for me for Christmas. It is the Maxwell Leadership Bible, um, New King James Version. And so when I got it, it had no writing in it, no highlighting. I was, I'm such a nerd. I was like, yes, I'm so excited about this. Um, and I didn't really have a system you know, um, but then I started to do some research to find out, like, how can I make my Bible study time more effective? Um, I realized there was an issue. I couldn't quickly find a verse in the Bible that I wanted to use to illustrate a point. You know, I couldn't find it quickly. And so 
um, what I did was I created this color coding system, right? You see, it's very simple color coding system. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so I have blue. Anytime I underline in blue, it is to show who God is. Um, if it says God is, the Lord is, if it gives the name of the Lord, if it gives an attribute attribute of God, some type of characteristic when I'm reading the Bible, then I'm going to underline that passage in blue. Um, if it says who I am, if God is reminding me of who I am in a passage, I am righteous, I am holy, I'm called, anointed, appointed, all of these things that I'm going to underline that in orange. If it talks about purpose or gifts, talents, promises, blessings, it's going to be in purple. Anything that has to do with my purpose. My purpose is a promise. My gifts and talents in my mind are a promise. And they're also a blessing. It's a promise that God is going to use me. That I haven't been created for no reason. So that's how I kind of tie them all together. Red is for forgiveness. Whether it talks about the importance of forgiving. That I've been forgiven. That I need to forgive others. I do it in red because the Lord shed his red blood for me. That's why I use red. Yellow is just real basic, right? And I want my faith, I want my faith to be regular faith, right? And when I say regular faith, I mean day-to-day, -day, everyday faith. Not faith that I bring out when things get tough. Not faith that I bring out when I'm looking for something big to happen. I want for my faith to be a daily thing, right? I'm using this faith every single day. So that's why I use yellow. Um, and I underline anything where faith is defined or I can see faith in action. So God told Abraham to do this. So Abraham did that. That's going to be underlined in yellow because it was faith that compelled them to act. Right. Um, and then I have pink. I underline in pink for relationships, love, self-love, self-care. So relationships with other people or relationships with yourself. Um, I use green to underline the power of words. So if somebody speaks something, if there's a prophecy, if God is telling them to say something and as a result of what they say, right, I know that something is going to happen. I underline that. Um, and then I use brown for growth because it makes me think of seeds in the ground. Um, anything that's a lesson or a principle or a command, um, if it's like Christian living standards, that kind of stuff that's being taught by the Apostle Paul, then I do that. Um, it's definitely harder to see, but I'll get it as close as I can. You can see where the blue is, where the pink is, all from one, um, all from one passage. And so I have it written. To, I have. I have my markers, my pens with me, and I have my color coding system. I just taped it, index card, it's not that deep, into the inside of my Bible. Now listen, the reason I chose these colors, if you know me at all, is because, not the colors, the reason I chose these categories to create a color for, if you know me at all, it is because of who I am, right? It's because of what resonates with me and what I've been called to. So I don't know what you've been called to and I don't know what things are most important to you. But, um, and maybe you're gonna create a color coding system just as you go. Maybe you're just gonna have one color. Maybe right now you're focusing on relationships, you're struggling in some relationships, you wanna see some relationships reconciled. So you're just gonna pick one color and you're gonna write it on your index card and you're gonna be like, the only thing I'm underlining for the next six months are things that I read and uh, that resonate as far as relationships are concerned right but if you have a full system it lends itself very easily to um, topical Bible study so if I wanted to say you know next month I wanted to do a Bible study on who God is I could literally just go through my Bible um, I just got it so just the areas that I've read already this year and pull out all the ones that are blue just go straight through and say, okay, this is the first blue passage from the front of the Bible. I'm going to go ahead and concentrate on this. I'm going to use the soap method to go deeper with this, um, with this scripture, all the scriptures that are in blue. But choose categories that resonate with you, things that are going to be logical to you. So for me, I use the power principles of courageous 
I use the power principles of courageous living, um, identity, who I am and who God is, um, forgiveness, forgiveness is freedom, so I have a color for that, faith, faith in action, I want to know, you know, it's important for us to put our faith in action, relationships, and you guys know that relationships for me um, are relationships with others and relationships with other people, but then I needed a color for relationships with words, right? And then I needed one for growth. So then where did the purple one come in with the purpose? Well, I am the chief courage crusader. And one of the things that I find to be the most encouraging, you know, I want to encourage you to be who God has called you to be, to do what God has called you to do. So when I am working with a client or when I'm getting ready to deliver a teaching or a message, it's always so important for me to... Um, remember the promises of God because that's encouraging. Remember the blessings and remember when God talks about gifts because those are the type of women that I work with mostly. Um, whether they're in the courage circle or they're in the courageous tribe, I mostly work with women who are pursuing their purpose. And so when it's time for me to encourage them, whether in the community or as a part of the lesson, I encourage Molina need to know what the word says about purpose. What does the word say about promises? I can't speak God's promises to you um, about your purpose if I don't know them, if I can't reference them, you know? So that's why I chose those colors. You can choose any colors you'd like um, and things that just work for you. I would love, love, love for you to share your color coding system with me. So if you do the index card, even if you only have one color that you want to start with, that is something. That is something that maybe you hadn't done before. I'd love for you to take a picture of it, share it on social media, respond to however you are seeing this video, whether it's in the comments, maybe you're in a course, Reply to me in an email. I don't know. Get with me somehow at Courage Molina or contact at Courage Molina because I would love to see what some of your colors are in the color coding system that you came up with. This is going to change the way you study your word. It's going to change the effectiveness of uh, the time that you spend in the word. All right. Until next time, you guys be strong and very courageous. Love you. Later.